Oh, incredibly smart, energetic, committed, and very hardworking. Oh, I think Deborah has a lot of strengths, but clearly uh, I think her greatest strength is her leadership. Uh, she leads by example. Uh, she empowers her people uh, to do the job. Uh, she provides great direction and then lets her people uh, go to work and go do the job. Uh, she provides great inspiration, but, but all of those qualities make up a great leader, and Deborah is a great leader. Oh, Deborah's excelled in the area of service because she has an enormous heart. Uh, she has a great head on her shoulders, but Deborah is a very, very compassionate person with a great heart uh, and loves to help out others. And that's why I think she spent her, her life and her career doing just that thing in our community. Oh boy. Well, I do have a lot of memories of Deborah, and, and this is a great one. Uh, uh, but two years ago, when our community was probably at its most distressed in the last 20 or 30 years because of the economy, uh, philanthropy was having a very difficult time, nonprofits were having a very difficult time, uh, Deborah and her staff uh, launched a short term 45 day program called Neighbor to Neighbor. And it was above and beyond everything that United Way does day in and day out. It was, it was in November of, of 2008, right at sort of the peak of the crisis and the panic um, and the shrinking of, of the economy and markets and shrinking of giving, uh, right before Christmas, right before all of the things that United Way does during the holidays. Uh, but Deborah and her staff launched a separate 45-day program called Neighbor to Neighbor that raised an additional $2 million in cash and goods and product for the neediest people in our communities in, in our four county service area who were on desperate times, people without housing, people without shelter, people without food, people without medicine, medical supplies, and Deborah and her staff went out uh, and got us, everybody else engaged and ready to go too. Again, her leadership qualities at play, but uh, uh, provided a, you know an, an emergency situation and you know an emergency program uh, for thousands of people in our community at a very very necessary you know point in time. It's just one of the things that Deborah does. When did you first meet Deborah? Oh, I've known Deborah when she was at the chamber when she was Debbie. Uh, later, she became Deborah. Now she's going to kill me for saying that. So, uh, but no, I knew, I knew, I knew, uh, I knew Deborah when she was when she was at the chamber, and, and when I was just a really young guy working at my father's ad agency in 1975 to 1978, and they were uh, down on Second South and in 19 East. I think it was 19 East Second South, where the Kinkos Copy Center is now in the in the Walker Bank uh, parking terrace, and, and my father's advertising agency was up on top, and and she and Fred Ball and, and a lot of other great names in our community's history were there, and and uh, and have known her for a long time. But we've really worked, you know. Uh, closely together for about the last 10 years. What kind of projects have you worked on with her? Well, being, I, I'm on the board of United Way, so being on the board in the last several years, being the, the, the chair of the board, we work on every project that United Way does uh, from, from funding cycles, from resource development, uh, to funding, to working to transform uh, United Way as an organization and how we perform in our, our community. So I've really worked closely with Deborah the last five years on transitioning United Way to a major community impact organization and launching our in initiatives like community learning centers, Sealants for Smiles, Utah Saves, Earn It, Keep It, Save It, and our, and our refugee welcome centers. Uh, so we've, we've done a lot and Deborah's, Deborah's accomplished a lot with her staff and with her board and, and with her partner companies on helping transform to make our community a, a much better place to live. Yes, absolutely. I, I, and I'm, I shouldn't have been surprised by her leadership skills, but I am, and I'm not, I, surprised is the wrong word, but impressed. I always knew Deborah was a hard worker. I always knew Deborah was professional. I always knew Deborah was committed. But she's a very talented business person very talented business person. And in the last couple of years where United Way has really been challenged with resources, she has reacted in an incredibly responsible manner, manner to cut every unnecessary expense, to cut travel, to eliminate positions where possible. But, but, but through her leadership, she's reduced expenses by about 36 uh, percent know, to United Way. And first and foremost, cutting all unnecessary expenses at United Way to ensure that our contracts and commitments to our nonprofit agency partners in the community remain whole. And, and through her leadership, we've been able to keep that promise. Uh, leaders are surrounded by talented people. And if you're a good and effective leader, your people will do anything for you. They'll run through walls, they'll climb mountains, they'll do, they'll do anything for good leaders. And, and Deborah and her staff are quite close. 
are quite loyal uh, because they trust her, they respect her, uh, and they follow her. So, I, I, again, a really good definition of a great leader, uh, exemplified by quality staff. And, and clearly, all three of the award recipients tonight uh, have that characteristic. Deborah couldn't be more proud of you, and you couldn't be more deserving. Congratulations.